All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, I just went grocery shopping, and uh, what was I just going to say? Oh, man, I have no idea. I've been I'm drinking a little bit of a beer. Um, we are going to... Yeah, so let's figure out what beer Splunky is like, or beer XCOM. Contact detected. We've got this motherfucking supply barge that landed in the middle of the outback. Not exactly sure why I would do that. Uh, we've got 19 aliens, so this is a huge motherfucking... This is gonna be... Tough. So we are gonna go, obviously. Um, and a couple of our people are gone, including our all-important Lady Archibald. And I elected to send... Wait, is Lord Archibald also getting side-tested? Yeah, I believe so. Um, we've got, like, this corporal and the sergeant. They could just die. You know, that's cool. Uh, but everybody's outfitted pretty well. I think that uh, Colonel Peters is going to be a pretty big asset on this fight. The question is, do I want to arc throw any of these guys? And I think the answer is no. Um, hmm. What was I just thinking about? So, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, let's launch this motherfucker. Uh, I just went grocery shopping, and even though I'm obviously married, you guys know this, and I bring home food for my wife and I to share. I'm pretty sure everybody there just thought it was single. Australia has sent because a number of, the, of requests for assistance. Uh, Bradford, you're interrupting me in my story. So like when I check out we and I the alien craft to a landing site in a rural area outside yeah. of a small town. We should move to secure the site and clear out any hostile Yeah, I get it. Mind. It's the fucking outback or something. It's by that big natural monument that looks like a giant turd in the desert in Australia. You should Google image search or Google map that. Um so one thing I got was Valentine's Day candy. Now, I'm not sure if anybody actually buys Valentine's Day candy as a romantic gesture. No, I would never really do that. Um, but like the other stuff I bought, like beer, Nutri-Grain stuff, just a million yogurts for breakfast, fruit, I only bought bananas. Um, the Valentine's Day chocolates, three different peanut butters with chocolate in them. The dark chocolate infused peanut butter, which I've been eating right out of the jar. Um... Yeah, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I bought a bunch of stuff that a single guy would buy and then Valentine's Day chocolate. So I'm curious if the lady at the checkout actually thought that was for some kind of romantic gesture or not. We have no invisible people. It's kind of a problem. And we also want the Mel. Where is that shit? Uh, at least Becky can dance around on the roof or some shit. Um, all right. What is this? What would it mean for you to move here? You would move up there? Becky, I don't know if I want you to do that. All right, Michaela is going to be our point man, which I now know what that is thanks to Bladed Edge. Is there now. Um, this so looks to be a supply ship of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If the aliens are really attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. Sequel? Wink, wink. Mm. Sorry, Commander was sipping on a farmhouse ale stout. All malt, it says. Um, yeah, so that's why I wasn't paying attention. All right. Uh, where do we want to move people? Is this, like, full cover? Yeah, I guess so. Let's do this. So, Becky, you are carrying a plasma rifle. This is very different than the shotgun. It's different critical rating, but it does, I think, like, more damage on average. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Light plasma rifle is like the laser rifle, but with better accuracy. So the accuracy on the plasma rifle is lower means I'm still going to be using Becky and Mad Dog. That should not be her name. Um, it's almost as cool as Becky's old nickname Double Down was, but way worse. All right. I need to start figuring out what's going on. Connor, you have heat ammunition, so you're still valuable to me. Um, and Snooky, you were on this mission. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, so get the fuck up here. I think you've been genetically modified. Yeah. Yeah, and you still speak Polish, even though I should make you speak Italian. I'm on it. All right. So we want some Mel, because I want to be able to upgrade my next mech and a soldier. Um, at least the, re the reason I want to do that is because I want a support-ish flamethrower mech. Uh, with an assault in it, and if I can't handle an assault in it, or get an assault in it, I want a... I'm sorry, if I can't get a support in it, I want an assault. So look around this corner. Alright, good. This might be the command module room already. If it is, that's fine. I'll take out those guys quickly. Is this a new map? I don't know if i played this one before. I know I've 
played against supply ships in the past. Um, Heading to that location. Yeah, okay, great. I, I'm just, uh, I'm starting to feel buzzed is what's happening, so... That's happening. That's not good when I'm fighting against 19 aliens. Michaela's probably like, Commander, you're... You're sounding rather... Drunk, sir? Moving to position. Uh, alright, don't go in that room, please. Good. Uh, do we want a heavy at the door? Is there already a heavy at the door? Snooky's at the door. Good. Uh, get over here. Will do. Uh, well, you better do it. I told you to do it. Connor, you can be on that side still. Um, back in to keep you over here in case you need to get through that door or go in the roof. And Simon, yeah, get in there. You're still pretty bad, aren't you? Alright. Yeah, alright. What the hell is that? Sounds like... That sounded like a floater, but I didn't think there were any floaters. That sounds like a mactoid or maybe a sectopod? Or both? I don't know, whatever. Just open this thing. Yeah, there's not even anybody in here. What are, what are they doing with these computers if there's no one in there? Go in here. Yeah, you don't see anybody because there's no one in here. Alright. Uh, do we want to be up on this? We probably do. Um, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get up there, isn't it? We have to all take that ladder except for Becky. Becky! Come on up. Okay. Alright. Cool. Um... Yeah, there's no one up here, as far as I can tell. That's fine. Uh, we don't want to see anyone around this corner, so I'm tempted to leave everybody where they are for now. Um, or rather, at least to move them closer. Uh, I'm comfortable moving go. someone out here. Uh, just everybody get ready to go up that thing. Should I jet boots you this turn? Yeah. Probably sounds like I'm completely inarticulate, given the alcohol consumption. Kind of like that. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm cooled where you are. It's kind of weird there's no one in here. Um, okay. Get ready to go near that door. I might want a man on the ground, you know what I mean? Kind of. Uh, because I'm watching. maybe you'll want to shoot a rocket from down here or something. What the fuck? Heavy floaters? God damn it. We didn't even get an overwatch shot on them. Okay, fine. Because they just happen to move right to that edge. I mean, that was a good strategic decision. Um, Alright, here's the deal. You're going to move here, Snook. You're not going through there, that's for sure. I think you could probably get a flanking shot on one of those guys. But I don't even give a shit. And what about you? You can get up here. Yeah, that's fine. That's heavy cover. Full cover. Whatever. Alright, Connor... Are you going to be our man on the ground down here? I don't think so. I think you're going up there. Because Snooky's a heavy and... What am I trying to say? Go right here. Get ready with your Overwatch shot. Alright. You stay there. I think. Maybe you should go inside this room. That's probably not that bad of an idea. Yeah, I like that better. That's fine. Okay. So, Becky, you're in a horrible position, I'm pretty sure. Where do we want you? Headed there now. That's fine. Stand there, you'll overwatch there. Uh, Michaela, do I want to... How far do I want to move you up? Like, what I'm nervous about is that Michaela's just going to get seen by a bunch more aliens. Moving. That would be horrible. So, right there, I think, is pretty good. That puts you pretty close. Connor, I'd rather you overwatch than get in cover. Alright, that's okay. I feel confident in dealing with three heavy floaters. Okay, good. No, wait, you hit? Alright. That guy died and gave us some weapon fragments, that's for sure. Good. Alright, that was all we saw. Awesome. Um, I'm still hesitant to open that, but I'll tell you what I'm not hesitant to do. Run over here. Now, you don't have lightning reflux. Oh, God. Did I give someone an arc thrower after all? Did I just say I was going to do that and never do it? I'm looking to try and figure it out. No, I decided not to because I didn't need it. Okay. So what do you see? You get a free shot against something now, right? Because I gave you that awesome ability. 
Yes, close and personal. The first standard shot made within four tiles does not even cost an action. Well, that's good. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to shoot at that guy because he's within four tiles. Fuck you. The meld is all the way over there. So that was a free action. And you fucking missed it like a douche. All right. I can fire a rocket here. What the hell? This guy came inside? Glad I looked. All right. How quickly can you get in there, Michaela? You couldn't punch him in the face, but you could shoot that thing and it'll explode. I don't need another UFO power source. Hmm. All right, so you could also throw a grenade here? Yeah, and hit those two guys, that's worth knowing. All right. Ugh, that fucking melt, I want it so bad. It would be the worst idea ever to get, I'm pretty sure. All right. Um. You are, like, almost useless to me. So, like, I could run you over here at the end of the turn and see what happens. I say that about the support that keeps dying all the time. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to try this first. Michaela. You're going to come down here. You're going to do something kind of fancy. I'm looking forward to it. You're going to get right here. That's a first. And you're going to collateral damage that motherfucker. And you're going to love it. All right. So this guy, huh? Tough guy. Hiding behind that thing? Let's we'll see how tough you are when it's exploded. There won't be anything left. Yeah! All right. So that felt pretty good. Um, hmm. I could also run and gun back in the future to get her over to this thing. I mean, she can jump pretty far. Do I want to do this instead of fire a rocket? Probably. Probably do. Uh, I don't know. A rocket could be pretty sexy from Snooky. Can you make a shredder hit all these guys and not yourself? Why, why is it saying I can't... That The floaters are really out of that range? Well, how would that possibly be the case? I don't understand this. Okay, so they're up kind of high, right? I find it hard to believe that... What? He's really out of range? How the fuck is that the case? Oh, God damn it! Okay, you fuckers. That's fine. Just do it this way. Just hit those two heavy floaters. Oh! I love the noise they make. They're shredded. They're like, we're gonna take all sorts of damage now. Okay. So here are the problems that we need to deal with. Connor needs to do something about this fucker who's just floating around in here. Right? Um, and I'm not a fan of that. So we're gonna come down here. And Connor's gonna be like, I'll stand right here and get pretty close to that guy. And 55? That's really what you have to offer here? You have a 55. Okay, that's horrible. Take it. Okay, of course. Um, uh, I feel like our meld just went up in smoke. But I feel like a lot of things just went up in smoke, actually. Um, so maybe those heavy floaters aren't even going to die this turn? That's horrible. This guy, what are you, you going to do here? Can you throw a grenade and make it hit this jerk? Of course you can't. All right. So... Hit these guys, you will deal some amount of damage to them that is significant, but ultimately not debilitating to them. Grenade out. Yep. Okay, good, I guess. I don't know how to feel about that. Not good. Um, and then... Oh, god damn it. You can come up here and hit one of them. Probably. Roger that. Enemy in sight. Oh, fuck me, beer. Okay. Um, so that guy just Overwatch. What are all these shits down here? Were they just regular sectoids? God, I fucking hope so. Um, so this went horribly. You need to get the fuck out, don't you, buddy? Unless I want another support to just die. Alright. So here's the deal. We cannot allow both these heavy mutants to live. So what I need to do is this crazy play. 
I need to run in here. Good. Eat an overwatch shot. Down here. Come on. Oh, fucking meld. We're gonna miss it. Um, and then shoot that mutant in the face who's got us all flanked. Yeah, this is fine. Wait, those guys overwatch too? Oh, this is fucking horrible. Becky, I hope you live. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take another sip of beer. I need it now. Now you have a hundred, so I'm gonna have you take that shot, Becky. Okay. Uh, wow, I wish I'd known those guys had overwatched. Oh, and there's another mutant down there. Oh, that's good. So this was all to keep you alive. Hope you're happy, you a-hole. Um, smoke, we know how good that is. I kind of want to put it down here on Becky, but... Um, yeah. I think, actually, there's enough horrible shit going on that I want to just kill this guy. Yeah, I think that's probably right. No matter how horrible that is. Okay. That guy could easily die. I mean... Yep. Who are you shooting at? Hopefully not Becky. What the fuck is happening? That guy just stand there? What the hell is happening? They're moving around the side. Are, are, are the is the AI defunct or am I just like so intoxicated I can't figure? Out. Oh god. Uh huh. See you later, new support. Repositioning on us. Oh, this is gonna be really truly horrible. I'm sorry, Guray Baracko. Everything I did turned to shit. This guy gets to choose who he wants to kill. And instead, maybe he'll just not kill anyone. And we'll receive the blessing of another turn with no one dead. Somehow. Alright. I'll take that. Uh huh. So What is this ability? Oh, this is the four squares ability. Well, you have a free shot right here before you do anything, but I don't even know if I want to take that right now. It sounds like there was a pleasant rushing brook down here. It's probably not a bad place to die. Um, alright. So you can either kill a guy. This guy started flying, so he's harder to hit now. That's good. Um, you, Snooky, could use your next rocket. You could hit... What could you hit here? Let's figure this out, because this has become incredibly important. You have two shots... There's a mech toy who's, like, in this shithole. I don't want to just blow up all their weapon fragments, but at this point, I've got bigger fish to fry, realistically. You don't have your running gun, so no one can get to that thing, right? It's just done. Um, I know that Michaela can just run over here and punch this guy. That might be what I do with, with her. Um, and then... You can go over here. Will you be within four squares, this jerk-off? will, right? So you get like a free shot, and then you can run and gun? Or you can't use it with run and gun. I don't know, maybe we don't want Michaela to punch that guy. Maybe we want Michaela to do something else. Um, like, it just gives us a lot of certainty. So, that's why I was thinking to do it. But, if that can't happen, we can move you behind, like, actual cover. Here. Will do. And then just have you fire on this jerk. Or fire on that jerk? Actually, that's a pretty good jerk to fire on. We might want to fire on that jerk. Alright. Let's see if our rocket can hit him if we shoot it down here. Can it? I would love to hit with a rocket like that. Come on, who needs sobriety? Alright. So you'll notice that this video just ended. Well, this is what happened. I actually don't know what happened to the video. What probably happened to the video is that I accidentally hit the stop recording button and never noticed for the next hour because it was so intense, and I'm sorry that you don't get to see it. But after these heavy floaters, and uh, I think there are mutant elites there, then there are more mutant elites, and then there was a mechtoid and a sectoid commander behind on the left and I was able to get everybody alive through there but they'd all taken a little bit of damage and I made a bunch of comments about how everybody had taken a little bit of damage 
And then I moved forward, and there were more mutant elites, and I dealt with them. Now, here's where things get interesting, because if I recall, the description with the hyperwave relay did not feature a sectopod, but I ran out onto a location feeling rather confident, and I ran into, I believe, two regular mutons and a muton berserker and a sectopod and a couple drones. The way I dealt with this problem was to use the electro pulse on it, which was extremely satisfying, and then it involved Mac Michaela punching the sectopod in the face and taking some explosion damage. Following this, I moved into the like command chamber of the UFO, and this is where things get really bad. Everybody is already kind of hurt, and I'm thinking... I can probably get through this anyway. So I go through and there are, there's like one mutant elite and an ethereal, I think. And I dealt with the mutant elite pretty quickly. But the ethereal moved back into a place and I thought I'd be able to chase it, but I didn't quite. And it left my guys kind of out of position. The result was it came out and it tried to mind control Becky. It succeeded. So Becky got mind controlled. No, no, I'm telling the story wrong. Okay, okay. Becky did not get mind controlled. Gure Biako got mind controlled. And I'm like, no, Gure. So what happens after that point? Well, Becky doesn't like it apparently when her buddies get mind controlled. So she panics. And I'm thinking, shit, son. But she picks up her gun. And I'm like, nice. She's going to shoot that ethereal. But instead, she shoots Gure Biako and kills him. So Gure Biako's dead at that point. And I'm like, Becky, you killed him. And then Becky's panicking. So I have four turns to kill the ethereal. And a couple of my guys are basically on Team Suck. Like Simon Adamczyk, he takes the final shot on the Ethereal. Michaela moves up there to try and hit him, but I can't move Michaela far enough to get a good shot, and I think she misses. The result is that the Ethereal is left with one hit point. And my guys are kind of out of position. I'm like, well, hopefully they're not clustered that much. Then the Ethereal like walks over and it's like, hey, I'm going to use this Maelstrom ability that no one ever sees. And it does this area of effect damage that does something like 14. The result is that it kills Becky. It critically wounds Simon Adamczyk. And it critically wounds... Who else? Snooki does not get critically wounded. Neither does Michaela. Gure died when Becky shot him. Who else is on this mission? I don't even remember now. I'm sorry, whoever you are, since you're based on a commenter. But you got critically wounded. So in other words, Simon Adamczyk, my new support, is critically wounded at this point. Becky is dead. Gure is dead. Snooki had been critically wounded before, but she lived through this one. And Michaela was fine, though wounded, I think. And whoever else was there, you definitely got critically wounded too. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I also wish that this video had recorded... This is the only one where it screws up, though. So um, what I've done is I've put this one and the next one up in the same day. So you don't just have to sit through a 19-minute video that ends without a climax. Plus, you'll get to see me be all despondent in the next video about how I fucked everything up. So, um, yeah. So, you know, when it said that uh, Colonel Lee had been killed, I just, like, sat there for a second. I was like, I don't even know what to say my wife just died and then becky got like kind of mad at me that night when i told her that i'd accidentally gotten her character killed so connor that brings you up to number six see you guys later uh so i just figured out what happened uh rewatched part of it and then part of the next video it turned out i sent connor there and connor was fine so here are the people who were fine michaela connor and fenzelian becky's dead gure's dead because Becky killed him. And Simon Adamczyk, my new favorite support, is critically wounded and has a terrible will score. So that's what happened. Okay, okay. Sorry for piecing the story together like that. It probably wasn't more exciting. I guess go ahead to the next video.